I like this. I like this, Scorpio, because specifically for some of you, this feels like a situation that has been festering underneath the surface for the longest time, and you haven't really gotten to the bottom of it. You haven't really been able to understand what's going on, why you feel this way, this, that, and the third, why you're constantly, you're an emotional wreck or you're an emotional roller coaster. Like, what is it that's causing this? Well, now you know, and now you can start the healing process. Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what is up, Squadskis? Yes. So welcome to March. Yeah, this. keep in mind that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, keep in mind that because this is a general reading, the roles can be reversed. I could be cross talking to the cross watcher, vice versa, whatnot. I mean, like, whatever. If, if As long as... Regardless as to how I'm narrating the message, if it resonates for you, then just take it as it resonates, okay? Don't try and fit it somewhere that it doesn't naturally fit into your life, okay? All right. So because we are in the month of March and we have uh, St. Patrick's Day this month, I figured we should go with our oracle guidance coming from the Fairy Forest Oracle. Okay, love that. Um, and then, I mean... I don't know why. I, I guess I'm associating St. Patrick's Day with like, you know, because that's a, don't ask me why I've, I've associated. I just felt like that's what we were going with. Okay, fine. Uh, <laughs> and then we get our tarot. The tarot deck we're using this month is the Mystical Manga Tarot. All right. So, um, also, just a little bit of a disclaimer here. Um, well, actually, let me tell you that if you are interested in a private reading with me, I am available for that. Um, just check the description box below. You can email me at divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. Uh, that's in the description box below. Also, there are a list of readings that I offer um, that you can read through. And so if you know what you'd like, send me an email. I'll get you all booked and scheduled. Also, if you're vibing with me as a reader and you want to check me out over on Inst on uh, Patreon, I highly recommend that. We do daily readings there. I also do bi-weekly bi twin flame re readings and bi-weekly inner masculine, inner feminine readings for those of us trying to work on balancing, harmonizing, and integrating those in, in the inner masculine and feminine energies. Yes, patreon.com backslash divine conversations. That can also be found in the description box below. Last little disclaimer that I want to say is that I might be a little bit loopy today. I am having some sort of allergic reaction to something I ate last night. Normally I'm on top of that, but I woke up this morning and my sinuses on this side of my face were clogged. My, uh, like my, it's, it's like swelling so much that it's swelling into my, the, my jaw in the back. And this has happened before. I really just kind of have to let it run its course through my body. Um, but I also need to figure out what it is I ate last night that's causing this. So I'm a little loopy right now, you guys, just so bear with me. <laughs> but anyway, I'm still here. I'm still channeling for you guys. So let's get into this for you, Scorpio. Let's get into your, um, your pre-shuffle. So as I was connecting with your energy, I all of a sudden got this very strong sense of purple energy. And that purple energy was representing higher awareness, higher wisdom. I'm hearing specifically figuring something out. You could be figuring something out about yourself right now or coming to a realization of something about yourself. And I feel like it's... Sorry, I almost sneezed. <laughs> Excuse me. I feel like it's bringing some sort of awareness to yourself that's allowing you to heal in some way. This might not be an easy thing for you to accept or um, or look at or, or be, be aware of, but ultimately, I feel like it's going to help you. Let's pause for a second. Okay, Scorpio, let's get back into this. So um, <clears throat> let me actually, let me just get into the cards that fell out because that's going to help me tell this story better than just me trying to narrate it without. <laughs> so <laughs> you have the Page of Swords here with the Four of Swords to start. Now, the Page of Swords for you is representing understanding, having, uh, understanding a new, uh, some new information, maybe having found some new information or having something, something new being communicated to you. That's giving you pause. You 
somehow, some way, whether you found it yourself, uh, whether you stumbled upon it, or whether somebody like spilled the beans or some shit like that, there's something that you seem to have become aware of that is giving you pause. That's what being like, whoa, wait, hold on a second. First of all, I'm feeling, whoa, I was not expecting that. But also I'm feeling like, oh, really? Oh, and wait, and being like, and like taking a step back or, or taking a seat back and being like, and processing. Oh, well, shit. That sure was a curveball, Or at least that sure wasn't expected. Which then is leading you to, it's like it's causing you in some ways, Scorpio, it's causing you to completely go back to the drawing board or to take that information that you've just received and take it to your, your harvest or your factory or where, wherever it is that you are running through the running. Uh, I don't know how really, I'm having trouble putting this into words or like whatever it is that you have running that you've been gung-ho about, that you've been defending, that you've been going hard for, that you've been acting from this place or point of view that you've been acting from, that's like a that's like a, a, a running system in your mind, right? Or in your life. And it's, it's, it's running, it's running, it's running. And then you get this, you, you, some sort of information comes in that kind of like, almost like ground grinds you to a halt. Or the situation is running and you get that information and you're like, so then you you take your point of view and juxtaposition it or compare it to the new information that just came in. And that's where you're trying to, and from there, you're making a decision. Seven of Pentacles to the Two of Wands. The Seven of Pentacles can represent an energy of doing something over and over and over again. But in some cases, expecting a different result. In some cases, this you may want to continue in your process thus far because it's ultimately providing you with what you were looking for and to begin with. But but the Seven of Pentacles can also represent that review process in which you realize that you're not getting what it is that you want, and now you have to change your approach. Okay? Which is where the Knight of Swords comes in. The Knight of Swords is the action in terms of how you want to change your approach or pivot, switch directions, something like that. And then you have this stack. And I'm not so sure about this stack. I, this doesn't feel like you, Scorpio, or it doesn't feel like the individual we were just talking about. This feels like somebody else. I, <clears throat> It feels like a woman or a feminine energy because it's the Queen of Wands. You have the Queen of Wands, the Nine of Swords, and the Six of Cups. And quite frankly, Scorpio, I feel like this Queen of Wands is abusive. This might be a completely different message for somebody else. It may not be. It may or may not be. I don't know. Again, take it as it resonates. But this, uh, this just does not feel connected to the other to what we were talking about earlier. However, that doesn't necessarily have to be the case. It, it may be connected. It's just that it's two starkly different energies. Maybe two starkly different frames of mind. This could be you being either abused by someone, a feminine energy, a queen of wands energy in the past. Okay, and you coming to a realization that changes your perspective and ultimately allows you to put the situation to rest, Ten of Swords, which is at the bottom of the deck, or this is you not being uh, being able to be in that Queen of Wands energy, being afraid to be that confident, sexy, self-assured, magical, receptive self that you know you can be or that you know that you are because of your past. And it could be both. It could be the direct abuse or manipulation from a Queen of Wands in the past that has kept you from being in your own sense of the Queen of Wands in your present, or at least up until now. I feel like this energy is ending. This energy is coming to an end. Ten of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Okay. All right. So we're going to reset and get into the rest of your reading. 
Okay, Scorpio. Oh, sorry, I don't have my glasses on. Let's um, let's reset here. And we're gonna get into the rest of the reading for you. Yeah. One more reset shuffle. All right. Let's see what else we've got for your month, Scorpio. Here we go. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Scorpios at this time. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give us clear and accurate representations of the general energies for Scorpio for the month of March of 2021. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Scorpio, five shuffles for you. One. This is two. Four, my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March 2021. This is three. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpi, Scorpi, Scorp, Scorpion. This is four. I don't know where that came from. I really don't. This is five. All right, Scorpio. Boop. <clears throat> Overall energy for you, Scorpio. We're starting you off with e, the five of swords. Oh, honey. How are you going to start your reading off like that, though? It's all right, Scorpio. It's not your fault because ultimately what I feel like this is here, Scorpio, this isn't a realization. This is a realization of a losing battle, of a lose-lose situation. This also may be, uh, this might be so trivial as to you realizing that you, I don't know why this is coming through again, but this popped into my head, but maybe this is figurative for some, for some of you, but it's like you are realizing or you come to the realization that you've been paying for like subscriptions that you no longer use. For some of you, it's that trivial. For others of you, it's not. But it's just its just like, and maybe that's figurative in the sense that you're becoming aware of how your like, energy is being siphoned from you in little, little ways that you don't notice when they happen, but will build up over time. And I feel like, I really feel like for somebody here, this is a relationship, a toxic relationship with a parent, possibly a mother. But then underneath, see, see, but this is a good thing though, because underneath the five of swords is justice. So yeah, this definitely is awareness. Justice underneath justice is the six of cups. And then underneath the six of cups is the page of pentacles. So to me, this feels like Scorpio, you're coming to an awareness of a toxic relationship or a toxic circumstance. And it's your aware, and this has to do with the past. Um, and your awareness of it is what's bringing justice or what is allowing justice to be served in this situation. Because this is just like I say all the time, you can't fix something, you can't heal something unless you're aware of its presence, unless you're aware of its existence, right? Yeah, okay. First set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio, in the first half of your reading, you got... The seven of wands. Excellent. So you're putting up your boundaries here. This definitely feels like somebody here did the right thing, the responsible thing in terms of once something was brought to their attention, they immediately took action to either separate themselves from the situation or try and handle the situation in an appropriate manner. I don't feel like somebody lollygagged. I don't feel like somebody dragged their feet. I don't feel like somebody tried to ignore something. Maybe in the past, but not at this point. Not now. I feel like somebody made an, to, became aware of something and started taking proper steps to put boundaries in place. Or started taking steps to put proper boundaries in, in place. There you go. Seven of Wands is coupled with 
the Queen of Cups. There you go. The Queen of Cups has come out for all three of y'all today. Cancer, Pisces, and now Scorpio. And it's all represented emotional boundaries for you. All three of you. That's excellent. I also just get a sense of like doing, doing, taking responsible action, doing the right thing, doing the responsible thing. And maybe this is such a big thing for you because maybe in the past, had you been uh, uh, faced with something like this, you might have not have, you might not have done the responsible thing. You might not have taken such a high road. You might not have acted in such an adult manner. Okay. That's excellent. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio, in the first half of your reading, you have the Wheel of Fortune. Excellent. Um, I, with this, I, I feel like you can, you can step off the karmic hamster wheel. Um, it's only a matter of time. Things will change. Great change is happening. I also feel like there's a sense of an awareness of the cycle that you've been in. Again, you being able to see something clearly is putting you in a position to, to create great or drastic change. The Wheel of Fortune is coupled with the Four of Pentacles. And what's also allowing drastic change to happen here is that somebody is letting go. This literally feels like Four of Pentacles, Wheel of Fortune. This literally feels like somebody stepping off the karmic hamster wheel, Scorpio. Okay. Okay. Your challenge in the first half of your reading is the star. Remaining faithful, taking a leap of faith, moving in a direction in terms of something new or, or, or moving in a direction without knowing exactly where it is you're headed. Just knowing that you're feeling inspired to move in a specific direction, or maybe you do know where you're heading, you just don't know how you're going to get there or how long it's going to take, but there's still a level of faith coming through here. Your challenge, honestly, when you, when you boil it down at its bare minimum, Scorpio, this challenge of the star just feels like you needing to just take a step, just get moving in that direction without knowing all the details ahead of time. Fixed signs don't have... Uh, an easy time with that. I get it. The star is coupled with the page of cups because ultimately what it, where it is you're heading is leading you towards greater re, re, uh, uh, realization of your dreams. It's actually a sense of what it is you truly want, your dreams, or it's your inner child that's leading you in this direction. Okay, and if this has something to do with a, a parent-child dynamic that really left you scarred, your inner child knows exactly where it's going, where it wants to go, where it wants to lead you. Your challenge is to just trust it and move forward with that, okay? Oh, my nose. Now I'm starting to, now I'm getting the, the channely tingles. The little, the little, the little tingles, the little, the little flutters on the tip of your nose that just like, <laughs> sorry. All right. Your closing message or potential outcome for you, Scorpio. Three of swords. Heartbreak. Again, awareness of the heartbreak though. Three of swords is coupled with, yeah, yeah, excellent. The five of cups. Now this is good. This is good, Scorpio, because... Again, this is awareness of heartbreak, which is now putting you in a position to be aware of what... Awareness of what have, may have been breaking your heart all along, um, which is now triggering a grieving period. Excellent. That's perfect. That's, that's the next step. It, it, it's it's because you're so aware of it at this point, or you be able to become aware of it that at this point that now you can actually feel it, which means now you're grieving, which means you're going through the healing process. I like this. 
I like this Scorpio because specifically for some of you, this feels like a situation that has been festering underneath the surface for the longest time and you haven't really gotten to the bottom of it. You haven't really been able to understand what's going on, why you feel this way, this, that, and the third, why you're constantly, you're an emotional wreck or you're an emotional roller coaster. Like, what is it that's causing this? Well, now you know. And now you can start the healing process, okay? I don't think I've ever been so excited to see that combination of the Three of Swords and the Five of Cups. But the reason I'm excited for you, Scorpio, is because of this element of awareness that is now allowing you to heal, okay? Your, uh, ooh, hold on. <sighs> Sorry. All right, let's get into the second half of your reading then. First set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio, in the second half of your reading. The Fool! There you go. Taking a leap of faith, starting a new adventure, starting a new journey. Getting the F up out of here <laughs> is what I just heard. Oh, okay. The, uh, the Fool is coupled with the Two of Pentacles. So crazy because there are a number of cards that have been coming out for all three of the signs of the, the water signs today. And that would one of the two of those are the Queen of Cups and now the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles has also come out for each and every one of you. Whatever it is, the change that you are experiencing in your life at this moment has everything to do with balancing your physical reality. So for some of you, this could look like a situation in which you may be putting more boundaries up in place between yourself and a parental figure. Because, damn it, you're an adult now and you're going to treat me like one. I am no longer a child. You will no longer treat me like a child. You will no longer have control over me as if I am a child. Because I'm not. All right, Scorpio, you better lay down them laws. You better get that, you better get that, that stinger ready, honey, because it's coming for somebody's ass. <laughs> Second set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio. You have the lovers. Why? Because this is your choice. Some of you were putting boundaries into place between someone that has been so emotionally manipulative towards you over the course of your lifetime that it's like... You, it's like you couldn't, you almost can't get away from this person fast enough. And I feel like for some of you, you even are like, you couldn't, you, I mean, you can't wait to put this excuse to leave this person behind or put some stronger boundaries between you and this person into place. Like you just can't wait to be able to enforce that. The lovers, yes, can be a romantic card. Yes, it can be about a romantic partnership. But ultimately, the lovers is a choice. And I like to say more times than not that the lovers is a choice between your highest good, serving your heart's desire, or not serving what everyone else wants around you, vice or, vice or virtue, right? So I feel like, Scorpio, you are making a decision for yourself. And this may have been whatever information that you received that we were talking about in the beginning of this reading, that may have been what you needed to end this person's or this situation's reign in your life for good. Like that, that may have been the one thing you needed all along and now you finally have it. The lovers is coupled with Death, your very own self, Scorpio. Look at that. This is this is a good decision to make, especially if it serves your highest good and it brings a major transformation and an ending for you. Kudos to you, honey. I am very, very happy and proud. Happy for you and proud of you. Your challenge, Scorpio, in the second half of your reading is the King of Pentacles. This challenge, Scorpio, for you is standing your ground and not letting anybody sway you. Not letting anybody get in your head and try and make you think less of who you know yourself to be. This King of Pentacles is, is 
the mountain. It's not just a mountain, it's a fucking mountain range, okay? You think you're not going to move one mountain? Think how much you're not going to move a, mount a whole range of mountains. Oh, hell no. Nah. And nobody comes up to the mountain and, and tries to make it convince himself that it is anything less than a mountain. A mountain knows who he is, or the king of pentacles knows who he is. The mountain knows what it is. If you could have a conversation with a mountain and you tried to convince the mountain that it was not, in fact, a mountain, it was a flock of geese, be like, what? What? No. Sorry. You might need to go back to kindergarten. Uh, whatever king of pentacles is coupled with the page of wands because you are, oh wow scorpio this is really powerful because you need to stand your ground stand firm in your own because you're re-identifying yourself or you have a new message to send and quite frankly scorpio there are probably some people around you that are not going to like the new message that you have to send to them about where they can stick their you know what <laughs> Stand your ground, Scorpio. Period. That's it. Closing message or potential outcome for you is the Ace of Wands. Inspiration. Moving in a new direction. Having a new lease on life. Having a new understanding. And actually, you might be really, really fired up about something, Scorpio. Like, I'm telling y'all. If you've got a Scorpio in your life that's on a rampage right now, stay out of their way. Because that stinger is at the ready. Okay? Ace of Wands is coupled with the Seven of Cups. All of the things that have confused you about this situation in the past are not so confusing anymore. Or at least I feel like the, because because that's kind of feeling like an Ace of Swords type of energy, but the Ace of Wands at least feels like the inspiration to get to the bottom of something. And I also kind of feel like this is connected to the fact that somebody has like this, this, this piece, this one piece or this nugget of information that just puts everything into perspective now. And I feel like this Ace of Wands to the Seven of Cups may be a direct, it may be directly related to that because now I feel like there's some sort of impetus or inspiration to get to the bottom of some confusing things or to understand things differently or to, I also kind of feel pretty specifically to take this nugget of information and place it in position against all the things that may have been confusing you about this situation to like see it, view it through the, through the lens of this new information you have. That was a mouthful. Okay, Scorpio. I like this. I like this a lot, Scorpio. All right, so let's get your closing oracle guidance here. Five shuffles, one. Two. Three for my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of March of 2021. This is four. And oh, this is five. All right, Scorpio, closing oracle guidance for you for the month of March of 2021. Interesting. Okay. Excellent. I think. Capricorn got this? You have card number seven, the green witch. Fresh, new, spring. Oh, turn right to it. Okay, here we go. When you are pure of heart, the whole world is full of potential. And this is the message from this innocent green witch to you. She is green as in the fresh new shoot from the seed pushing urgently towards the sun. She is green and connected to the earth, flowing with the cycles of nature. 
She is green in that she looks as much to the natural world for company, friendship, and fulfillment as you currently do to fellow humans. She is your reminder to begin to reconnect with the wild green world, to the fairy forests all about you, to go back to a place where you empty yourself of expectations and stories and knowledge and just admit that in some circumstances and at some times, you are as a babe. You are new newborn. And in that moment of unknowingness and of admiring and embracing your own powers of renewal, you can finally learn what it is you are here to learn. Be not so certain or so experienced when this card comes to you. Be new, be fresh, be unwise, be unknowing, be innocent. And then the new cycle can truly begin. So quite frankly, Scorpio, this could be somebody gaining their sense of innocence back from someone or a group of people or a number of, a string of circumstances that only helped to rob someone of their innocence. And I'm telling you, Scorpio, there it, it, it really feels like there's just this one thing, whether it's a nugget of information, a chunk of information, maybe a piece of your timeline that has been filled in for you that's, or just one piece, one in, in piece of information that is changing your whole perspective on this situation. That's allowing you to regain your innocence. I love that for you, Scorpio. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you guys so very much. Um, if you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. All the information is in the description box below. Also, check me out on Patreon. Yeah, also that information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next general reading for the month of April. Yeah, take care. Mm -hmm. Bye. <laughs>